first of all, uh, I would like to say thank you so much for this, uh, for giving us this opportunity to air our views to Kenyans for those people who are outside Kenya like us. Actually, I'm in uh, Saudi Arabia, Riyadh. Uh, I would like to say Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh for those ones who are Muslims and Bona uh, Yesu uh, for those ones who are Christians. Uh, we are all work together for achieving one goal, which is to have uh, our rights and the rights of vote. For those people who voted uh, their rights, they should have their rights for the voting and actually their vote should be counted. Uh, in my views, first, I, will, I would like to say that uh, actually uh, Mandamano should proceed on and should exist and should go on. Uh, why I say like this is that uh, personally, a uh, person like me, I've been uh, suffering for the last 25 years. Always Raila is going for the, uh, uh, for the ballot and uh, ballot yake anaibiwa. Nina ujumbe kwa Kenya wote jumla. Mimi ni mtumishi wa mungu na nina ujumbe ambao ningependa wa Kenya wanisikia vizuri sana. Wa Kenya wameomba, wa Kenya wamelia, wengine wamekosa mwelekeo. Lakini Mungu yuko na watu ambaye anatumia. Wakati kura zilipigwa, siku ile ya Wednesday, wa Mungu alinipa neno. Akaniambia tayari hata kama kura zinapigwa, Ruto ameshachukua u president. Na je aliyechukulia, alionekana kama anavuka raka na akaenda akagrab kiti na akakalia kwa nguvu na kakuwa na security fulani pale ambao vita vikaanza. Uo ujumbe niliuchukua kwa uzito nikaanza kuombea. Baadaye ikakuwa hivyo tukakuwa na proceedings za kesi, mambo ikaendelea. Nimekuwa ninaomba. Penye mefikia sasa ni lazima watu wajue kuna manabii na Mungu anasumuza. President Ruto sio uh, nabii, Raila sio nabii na ni lazima wasikie mambo ya manabii kwa sababu wameefikishwa mahali na wahubiri wengine ambapo wanaweza kujitabiria na wafanye mambo vile wanataka na Kenya ikose mwelekeo. Hao ni wanasiasa na sisi ndio tunawapa mwongozo. Biblia ananiambia vizuri katika kitabu cha Matthew 5:9 eri wale wanaofanya amani blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called sons of God. If Raila and Ruto who are Christians can qualify to be sons of God is at the table of making peace. So for you to qualify to be sons of God, even as you are leaders, you need to make peace for us Kenyans. Now, if peace comes because they, uh, it seems that uh, the politics has caused us to see injustice, so there must be justice so that the injustice power can be able to fail and people will see the hand of God because you will negotiate things and make things look like there is peace. So I call upon you to make peace, in other words. Just sit down. If you grabbed, as the Lord says, return what you grabbed, then make peace and reach at the, the center of uh, a negotiation. Then Kenyans will be happy. Instead of keeping on crying and fighting and we are both Christians, then we are looking like there is no direction in the country.